What's going on, YouTube? Chris here. I want to bring you all an update today on Bitcoin, Ethereum, Link, Litecoin, and Dash. we got some really nice moves going on in some of these coins. And I want to bring them to you today. So we have hit that target for Bitcoin right here. This is at $12,500. That's the area we were looking through yesterday. We cut right up through that overhead resistance area of around that 11,932. That's exactly what we were looking for. And this has been on a little bit heavier volume here. If we go into the volume, what you'll see is we're already at 12.058K Bitcoin traded. Our typical average volumes at 8.055k so this is nice that's what you want we want that heavier volume and now what we're trying to do is get up above this 12,500 see if we can target even up to around that $13,000 it could happen very fast when you don't have a lot of overhead resistance say we could get through this and have a candle close here we really got a decent shot at over $13,000 then things could get crazy up to that 14,000 because we had such fast drops over on this side so now we're trying to get that strong strong move. What's going to be most important today is the candle close. And what we end up doing with 12,301, if we can candle close up above that and we can keep this momentum going, we could look pretty decent. What I do want to point out is we're at 77 on the daily RSI right now. Typically when we pump, we get up to around 86. That's going to be my target. If we get to around 88, 90, right in that range, that's when I'm really going to start looking and seeing what we're doing up at these higher areas. If we make there, what type of candlestick pattern formation we're going to be looking for okay so that's going to be bitcoin what we want to hold is that 12,305 is going to be the area of support we want to try to continue to get up over top of that 12,342 it's going to be the area next we're going to move into ethereum if you guys get something from that don't forget to like subscribe hit that notification bell i appreciate y'all being here with me today so what we're anticipating looking decent we're getting that follow through right now we just want to keep that momentum moving we're going to have to wait for that daily candle close and see where we're at so next let's move into ethereum ETH's at $386 right now. ETH's really just been in this equilibrium pattern, chopping side to side, back and forth. We are having some buying pressure coming in. ETH has much more room on the RSI than Bitcoin does right now. How we were talking about Bitcoin's up around 77 on the daily. Right now we're looking at 57 for ETH. So it has more room. It could really start hitting some of these higher targets. And the first one I'd really look for is to see if we can get up through, we'll call it $400, the psychological level of 400, the round number, and then up to around that 400 417 then be up to around about $450 going to be the upside targets in terms of support we want to hold roughly around $347 right now that's going to be the area I'm going to pay a lot of attention to so this can be ethereum next we're going to move into link I think Link's having a nice little day here. We're up about 8.6%. We're at 1073 right now. What we're looking for is the continuation of this trend. We want to continue to keep these higher lows coming in. That's the main thing. And today, if we can get a nice strong candle close into the previous day's candle, that would be good for us. And we also want that volume to step up as well. And then the areas we're going to look to see if we can get over top of are going to be $11. Then it's going to be up to around roughly $11.50 then to around that 1210 those are going to be my next targets for link if we can continue to keep this moving if we take a look at the technicals for link we are throwing a buy signal we have a three cell 10 neutral 15 buy oscillators one cell nine neutral and a one buy so we're actually very neutral here in terms of the oscillators we just have to see if we continue to get that buying pressure see if we can hold these higher lows and maybe get over top of some of those areas that's what i'm looking at the rsi right now is at 51 so we do have plenty of room as well for link we just want to put that next higher high in so we can keep this trend moving we're trying to break that downtrend change the trend it's all about the trend so that's going to be link next we're going to go into litecoin and i know so many people hate on litecoin and i actually find it hilarious because litecoin it basically moves when bitcoin moves and it's just going to be more extreme in in either direction so if bitcoin's running litecoin most likely is going to have a higher percentage gain if bitcoin's dropping litecoin's going to have a higher percentage drop and it's a great coin to trade and for anyone who thinks it's going to die i think they're insane i mean it's been around for how long now and it's proven itself it's been in the top 20 this entire time so people can hate on litecoin all they want i love to trade litecoin and it is what it is if you like litecoin let me know down low in the comments that you're here for litecoin and it's one that you like to look at. So Litecoin right now is at 5230. 
Beautiful candle coming in here. If we could close today, this would be a bullish engulfing candle on heavy volume. The RSI is at 63, so we have plenty of room. What we try to do is get over top of $53.84 is going to be the next area, then be up around 57.16. But this is really good here. What I also want to do is draw a trend line, and we want to continue to hold this trend line right here. So we don't want to start dropping below this area. If you can see that. Okay, so we're going to pay attention to that. If we take a look at the technicals here, we have a one cell, nine neutral, 18 by oscillators, one cell, eight neutral, and a two by moving averages, zero cell, one neutral, and a 16 by. So let's just see where we end up closing today. That's what's going to be most important here is where we get that candle close. So that's going to be Litecoin. Next, we're going to move into Dash. I love Dash, guys, as well. I think this is one that can run really hard, fast, and aggressively. So Dash is sitting at around $74 right now. And if we zoom out, what you can see is we've almost been in this little just rectangle. We've been finding support at the bottom here. We had a bullish engulfing candle about two days ago, and we really had a nice strong move. We went from 66 up to around 78 in the matter of one day. So what we're trying to do is just change that trend out of this downtrend. What we need to do is close up above this 200 moving average, and that's going to be at $76.58. Need to get up above that, then we can start targeting some higher levels of that 85.73. But right now, we just want to continue to see that buying pressure come in and this trend to change. Okay, if we get into the technicals here, we're looking at a four cell, nine neutral, 15 buy oscillator, zero cell, eight neutral, three buy, moving average, four cell, one neutral, and a 12 buy. RSI is at 58 right now, so plenty of room to still continue to make a move to the upside if we can get that buying pressure. And if you take a look at how Dash moves, guys, look at this here. When we hit this inverted head and shoulders, I remember making a video about this, and we broke out, and it was just crazy. But take a look how fast Dash moves. So once we broke out of the neckline here, we'll just even go from right there. We had 171% move, up $98 in the matter of about a week. So when this runs, it's going to run very hard, and you kind of have to be in those positions. But for me, not financial advice, Dash at $74, even down the road for the longer term. This is a coin that's been at $1,600 before, and I really don't see it going anywhere. So it's one that I like to trade as well. But if you get some from this, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. God bless each and every one of you. If you want to help out, got my Bitcoin address down low. I appreciate anybody who wants to throw Satoshi or two. Take care, my friends.